And the second to last boss here, we're gonna fight Oh McDonald had a farms farm. Yes, there's a dragon, there's a sheep, there's a squirrel and a chicken. Those are the four ads that is in here. So there's technically four different ads with four different abilities. So how this fight normally go down is you have all your ranged people attacking the sheep. Now, when you have DBM or bigwigs tell you to stop casting, that normally means that you shouldn't cast any more damage on the sheep because the sheep has a, an ability. We can see right here all this lightning coming out. Uh, if you attack them with anything, if you cleave or hit them with anything uh, after they have the debuff, you will uh, get you'll get electrocuted back. So it's like return damage. Uh, the sheep cannot be attacked from melee because the sheep is the strongest enraged enemy. If it attacks you, it almost kills you instantly. Um, I don't think it will one-shot the tank, but it will be very close to a one-shot. So that is unhealable damage. That is pretty much the sheep covered, right? Then we're going to cover the dragon. The dragon does only one thing. It does a frontal damage. So you just have to look every now and then where this frontal damage is pointing at and be sure that you're not standing in front of the dragon. It is, it is pretty much extremely long so you can't out distance it like right there just had to move uh, it gives you more than enough time to see where the dragon is casting so pretty much the biggest thing is if you see the dragon casting just do not be in front of him now the chicken and the squirrel they pretty much do similar things they both will have a cast that you'll have to interrupt uh, and if you don't it could one shot someone so it's very very important that you interrupt them uh, have maybe a set uh, a person like a rogue or like a person like a, a shaman or anyone that can actually interrupt make sure that they are that is their duty uh, to interrupt them you face tank those three ads the squirrel the 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 chicken and the dragon you face tank them you try and keep them in aoe range so that people can aoe them but for uh, any range that is single target like boomies a mostly single target, right? Uh, also someone like uh, Hunter. You would AoE cleave the three and then you would auto attack the sheep. The sheep has to die um, because all of them have to die roughly at the same same HP. So, so, so that they, have to, they have to relatively go down at the same time. I think you have about 20 seconds or so to kill them all. If you don't, they respawn back with 6,000 HP. Uh, it's not a lot, so if you do make a mistake, just keep in mind that you'll have to do extra damage. Uh, there's also eggs being placed. Now, if you don't want to move a lot, you can kill the eggs. But if your team moves, you can just ignore the eggs. And then the fight is extremely long. You can see at the bottom right corner where the DPS meter is. This fight is three and a half minutes and we're done with it right now. Uh, so if you need mana, you can press on these red buttons on the outside. Uh, to get mana you'll you'll pay 300 hp for 300 mana or something like that maybe 600 mana uh, so it's just like a free life tap you can do this once every 30 seconds and also just make sure that you run away from the middle because the next boss is spawning you can see unfortunately we failed with that and we wiped because of it so yeah hopefully you guys found this useful let's hop into the final boss